What's going on guys? I got good news. It will not be long and I will have my new phone. Uh, this video should be a little better. I am using my fiance's phone, so it does have the rear facing camera. Um, but I am finally getting my new phone. So the video should be getting better. Um, I also got some new editing software. Um, so that should help out too. But I am getting the iPhone 8 uh, 8s plus so that should be helping I will have a front and rear facing camera and from what I'm reading the uh, rear facing camera on that is pretty good uh, there's a lot of detail in it uh, it's got a wide angle and a zoom lens so we should be pretty good with that this video I'm gonna start doing these weekly now that I got the editing software and the camera make things a little easier on me um, so I am going to start doing weekly videos, um, care videos, updates. This video is going to be an update on all the new animals. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that and I have quite a bit to show you guys. Uh, I think I have like maybe 10 or 11 new things to show you guys. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing an update video on some of my animals that are growing like crazy. Um, this room is going to change a little bit. I'm getting some new lighting uh, and I'm also doing the ceiling. Uh, I think I said in another video that's the only thing that's not finished in the basement is the ceiling. So I am going to be putting a ceiling in uh, and getting some nice lighting down here to really showcase some of the animals. Um, but with that said, we are going to go ahead and get to some of the animals. Um, like I said, new animals, so I will get the first one out, and I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, this is the first new addition I got. Um, I have a pair of hissing cockroaches. I'm going to be honest, this is the first time I've held these guys, and so it's kind of freaking me out. Um, I did get a male and a female. Sorry, my table's a mess. I'm doing a lot down here right now. But I got a male and a female. Hopefully I can get some babies. Um... These guys right now are pets, but if they do start producing quite a few babies, then who knows, maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll start using them for feeders for my tarantulas. Um, until then, they are pets. This one is the, I believe this one's the male. It looks like it has some horns on it. Maybe not. The males are the longer ones. I'm not sure. Um, I got a buddy who breeds them. He's where I get all my rodents from. Uh, Big Sow's Feeder Farm on Facebook. Uh, he also has a website, but most of uh, his stuff I think is through Facebook. He does giveaways. Um, I believe it's once a month he does giveaways. So uh, check him out, guys. He, uh, he has the best feeders by far. Uh, Quality-wise and price-wise, great prices, great feeders. That's where I get all of mine. Uh, he doesn't just have rats. Like I said, he has hissers. He has jubias. Um, he's getting into... Oh, God! Whew! Think it'd be fast when it wants to be. That scared the hell out of me. Uh, he, uh, he has hissers. He has dubias. He's getting into hornworms. So, uh, check him out. Uh, like I said, it's Big Sow's Feeder Farm. Uh, but that's where I got these guys at, and these guys are just pets at the moment. So, uh, that's the first update, guys. I'm gonna get this guy or girl back, I'm not sure, um, and get out the next pet that I have to update you on. Alright guys, this is the next, uh, new animal that I have. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one or the other one. Um, I do have two female flying geckos in here. I believe this is the new one. He looks like he might be the lighter one. But, ooh, jeez. But uh, I am not positive. Oh, well, I guess that was the video I'll get of him. Uh, let me see if I can find the other one in here somewhere. Nope. All right. Um, like I said, this, uh, that may or may not be the new one. I have two females. I am planning on getting a male um, and trying to breed some. Um, there he is. But uh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one or not. I know you've seen one of them. One of them does seem to be a lot lighter. That's why I bought him. He's almost a light tan. He does darken up at times. So this may or may not be the one that you have seen. But uh, like I said, these are my flying geckos. They're pretty cool. Um, so I added one of these guys to the collection. I already had one. I got it a friend. Um, not knowing the sex of my first one. And of course, they're both females. So now I have to try to get a male for these guys. But uh, that is the flying gecko. Alright guys, here is the next uh, new addition that you guys haven't seen yet, I don't think. Um, this is my little leopard gecko. Uh, not sure what morph he is. Wish my camera would focus. There we go. Not sure what morph he is. Um, if you guys have any idea, let me know. Uh, I got him at a pet store, so their guess was about as good as mine. And I am not a leopard gecko guy. But this guy was on sale, and he's really, really cute. And we had talked about getting another one for a while. So uh, I went ahead and got him. Uh, they're really easy to care for, especially for a lizard. Usually lizards need uh, UVB and all kinds of stuff. These guys are really easy. Um, they eat mealworms, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about crickets if you're not a cricket guy. Because uh, I know crickets can be kind of a pain and get everywhere. So... Uh, this is my leopard gecko. He's got a little chunky belly on him. Uh, his tail was pretty skinny when we got him, but it is starting to plumping up. But like I said, if you guys have any idea what uh, morph this guy is, who knows? For all I know, he could be a baby normal. I know as babies, they look a lot different than they do when they're older. Um, I think this guy is some kind of snow or some kind of blizzard. I can't really remember which one. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any idea, let me know. Um, this guy needs a name, the hissers need names, uh, usually I don't name my insects, but you know, whatever. Um, and both of the flying geckos need names. Um, but until then, this is my little leopard gecko here, uh, and I will show you guys the next one. Alright guys, this is the next new addition here. Um, you're only going to get to see a sneak peek of him because he is going to freak out as soon as I put the light on him. I know it. Uh, this is my bullfrog tadpole. Um, believe it or not, I just changed his water yesterday. You can see his little back legs there. Uh, he's a chunky little fella. They are so insanely messy. Um, I seriously have to change his water like three days a week or it is disgusting. Um, but there he is. He is the little bullfrog tadpole I'll keep you guys updated as he gets bigger um, I've never raced tadpoles before I've done like the whole monarch butterfly things from uh, from caterpillars but I've never seen the metamorphosis of a frog and uh, I like bullfrogs they get nice and big they're loud have some personality to them so when I seen this guy in the store I uh, thought I'd scoop him up so I could witness his metamorphosis um, but there you go, that's the bullfrog tadpole, and we'll get on to the next guy. Alright guys, next update here, this is, uh, Parker. She is a rose-haired tarantula, and, uh, she actually recently molted right before I got her, so about, about a month and a half ago, maybe, uh, maybe two months. She is beautiful, um, she's got a nice pink carapace there, she's nice and fluffy, um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but her hairs have this nice pink to them. She has a really beautiful rose hair. Um, she's actually, I believe they said, uh, nine years old? The guys had her for nine years, something like that. And he got her as an adult, I believe, so who knows how old she is. Um, but she's a great eater. She is not the most docile tarantula. Um, she uh, is kind of jumpy. But, man, this camera is sweet. See, this is why I don't make videos a lot, guys, because I don't have the rear facing, and it makes it such a pain. But, uh, this camera is awesome. I can't wait to get the new iPhone 8, um, because it's got an awesome camera, apparently. Uh, you can see every little detail of her. Wow, look how pretty. But, uh, like I said, that's Parker. Um, the guy that had her was moving and couldn't take her where he was moving. 
So uh, I ended up with her. Um, real pretty tarantula. Um, I will go ahead and get on to the next one, I guess, even though I'm really liking the view on this. Little hairs, you can see a little eyeballs. But uh, yeah, that is Parker. Is next up we have this uh, fellow right here. I believe this is a false widow. Um, believe it or not, it was actually found in my basement uh, where I am filming right now, and I actually found another one in another room of my basement. So uh, apparently we have these guys down here. I originally thought it was a eastern black widow, but as you can see, there's not really a. Uh, not really a hourglass on her abdomen which kind of sucks to be honest I mean I'm glad that there's not black widows in my basement but I was also really pumped to have another black widow if you guys didn't know check out some of my older videos I have my black widow in there uh, she was my favorite spider that I had I've been really wanting another one I've been thinking about ordering another one um, so when I found this guy I got excited but I believe it is a false widow um, if you guys know Please let me know. I'm by no means a spider expert, um, but I did a little bit of research, and that's kind of what I was thinking it is. Um, I did let the other one go. It's still in my basement in the corner. I figure it can eat some of the flies that we have down here, some of the crickets that escape. But I did capture this one, and I have it in this little Tupperware. Um, it was extremely emaciated. Its abdomen was very shrunken. Um, you could tell it was lacking food and water. Um, so I did give it this mealworm, and it ate it. Uh, and I did give it a little mist in its web. Um, so hopefully it got something to drink. But that is the next update. That is the false widow. Alright guys, next update here. Uh, this is my pinstripe baby that I hatched out uh, about a month ago maybe. Hatched out really tiny. Um, it actually is the only one out of its clutch that survived. Uh, I had two babies come halfway out of the egg and pass away, and one came fully out of the egg and passed away. Not really sure what happened. Um, I really don't know. I hatched out all my other ones fine this year, uh, so I don't know what happened with this clutch. But um, it seems pretty healthy, other than it had some umbilical left, and now it... Oh, God! I am on the ground. So it did just slide down my leg. It didn't fall like real far or anything. Um, but if you look on its belly, it does have a spot where its umbilical was kind of scabbed over. Um, it did eat for me the other day uh, for the first time. So that's a good sign. Um, I'm hoping this little guy makes it. Um, I'm not getting rid of him until I know for sure that he's going to be okay with that belly issue. Um, I thought about when he gets uh, a little bigger, if he's still doing okay. I thought about um, actually giving him away on this channel um, once I get some more subscribers. Um, so, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, like I said, I'm not making any promises. I don't know if he's even going to make it. I'm kind of worried about digestion with this area on his stomach. Um, but I hope he makes it. I've kind of grown to love the little guy. Um, he's real personable. He's a real sweet snake. Um, real calm demeanor. Um, like I said, he's the only one out of his clutch that made it. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully this guy s continues to do okay and that starts to look a little better with a few sheds. But I'll keep you guys updated on him and how he's doing. Uh, just keep hopes high that he will be okay. Um... And if he is, maybe I will do some kind of giveaway. Um, but that's him. we we'll move on to somebody else. Alright guys, I don't think that you have seen this guy either. This is my uh, rosy boa. Uh, I know you guys know that I have some of the sand boas. If you haven't seen the video, uh, go back. I have one where I get sand boa babies. Um, and collecting them the next day when I found the litter. Um... But these guys are kind of similar. They get a little bigger. Um, obviously different color. They're not the orange and black spots. Um, these guys are pretty cool. 
Uh, they actually have some head distinction, like a Sambo, as their neck kind of goes straight to their face. Uh, um, but this guy's pretty friendly. He doesn't seem to have the food response that my Sandboas do. Um, he's not trying to bite anything that comes into his enclosure, trying to ambush hunt it. Um, but who knows? It might just be him. Um, but this is my rosy boa. Um, you guys will see what I'm doing with him as I go. I don't know if I really want to talk about it yet. Um, but it'll be a project for sure. Um, not sure if it's going to work out. Um, if it does, I'll be the first to do it. And I know there's a lot of people that dislike it. Um, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated with that as I do it. But for right now, we're not going to go into that too much. Um, but this is my rosy boa male. Um, I do need to get a female for him, um, in case my other stuff doesn't work out. But, uh, real pretty snake. Never had a rosy boa before. Um, all I've had is the sand boas. So, uh, that is my rosy boa. Alright guys, next update is, uh, my anole tree. I put a little sneak peek preview video of this guy up. Um, basic setup, just got some tree branches, some fake leaves on them, um, food bowl, I missed them daily for water, and then just a normal light bulb that gives off some heat for them, they don't need a real hot basking spot. Um, I have two anoles currently, um, let me find them, here's the one guy, he, uh, he is the smaller of the two. Um, he does eat and drink fine, but he does stay way skinnier than the other one I found. He is sleeping in his branch right now. Um, let's see if we can find the big one. There he is. All the way up there. Uh, believe it or not, they do not leave these two branches, these two top branches. Um, they're either on this side of the tree or that side of the tree. Uh, they got their hot and cool sides here, so they don't really go beyond that down into here. Um, they do not leave the tree. They have everything that they need in the tree. Food, water, uh, hiding places, basking. So uh, they tend to stay where they are. Um, I do want to get a few more. These are green anoles. I do want to get some brown anoles. Um, so maybe I'll do that in the future. But for right now I got these two little fellas hanging out in the tree living life. So uh, that is the update on the anoles. Alright guys, this is the next update. Um, this is Nash. He was sleeping. He doesn't seem real happy that I woke him up. Um, this is the newest Bearded Dragon member. Um, I don't know if you guys know, my fiance is kind of a sucker for Bearded Dragons. So uh, we just got this guy yesterday. Um, he is in this huge enclosure. Way too big for him right now, but he will appreciate it once he gets older. Um, it's about four foot by two foot by two foot. Um, this is what my boas were in, but I got them in a rack now. Um, so that's Nash. Give you a little preview here. Uh, let's go up to Moose, who destroyed his greens. Um, but as you can see, even as an adult, they have plenty of room in this. Um, it will go Moose, then our Zero, whose name is Daisy, she's over there uh, on the other side of the room. And then it will go Nash, and then it will go Zuko, who also tore greens up all over her enclosure. But, uh, yeah, that's the new bearded dragon, Nash, um, hanging out back there. Uh, got a few more updates, guys, a few new animals to go. Um, so hang in there. Alright guys, next update here. This is actually not mine. Um, this is an albino, a cow albino boa constrictor. Um, I just have him because I'm going to be breeding him. Um, just got him a day, two days ago. He is going in one of these huge tubs um, tomorrow. Right now I just have him in this little tub. Uh, it's just been in here for two days. 
So he is going in a big tub tomorrow, and then he will be introduced with my female in about two weeks. Um, doesn't seem like he's in the best mood today, to be honest, even though he seemed pretty friendly before. Um, so I am not going to be picking him up and holding him. But as you can see, he is beautiful. Um, he is going to my head albino female to hopefully prove her out. I was told she's head albino. Um, I was told that it's the cow line, but we will see. Uh, with heads, you never really know, especially because it wasn't from a source that I really know. So we'll have to try to prove that out. But this is not my male. I am just borrowing him um, to breed to my female. So that is the albino male that I'll be holding on to for the next little while. Well, I changed my mind. Uh, he came crawling out and I grabbed him. And he actually seems to be doing all right. So uh, while I have him out, here he is. Um, he's beautiful. As you can see, he's kind of washed out. He doesn't have a lot of pinks in him. Um, but he is really beautiful. Um, I love the albinos. I love the sun glows. Um, but this guy is just a cow albino. Um, beautiful snake. Love the red eyes and the nice little pinks that he has in him. He gets a little more down by his tail. But, uh, beautiful, beautiful snake. And I really appreciate, um, my buddy for letting me borrow him to try to prove out my female. Um, that's actually the guy that I got the roaches off of. Again, Big South Feeder Farm. So, go check them out. Um, see how easily he'll go back in here. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad if I could find the lid. Look at that. But, yep, that's the albino male I'll be holding on to for a little while, guys. And we'll go on to the next. Next new addition. You can see him swimming around down there. This is my uh, new snapping turtle baby. Um, I was told, the person was told that it was a alligator snapping turtle trying to catch the little fella here. But uh, I don't believe that to be true. I think it's just a common. Um, cute little guy though, captive bred. Um, really cute little fella. Um, pretty tame, but I know as he gets bigger, I will not wanting to be, not be wanting to be scooping him up like that. But uh, I really wanted a snapper. Oh, I really wanted an alligator, but who knows, maybe I'll get an alligator down the line um, and keep this guy as well. Because I've grown pretty attached to him. Uh, I was going to name him Bowser, but I kind of want to save that name for the alligator snapping turtle. So let me know if you have any name suggestions for this little fella. Uh, real cute little guy. Um, I wanted a snapping turtle, so when I dethaw rats, um, I will have kind of a garbage disposal to throw my spare rats to if my snakes don't eat them all. Um, obviously this guy won't be doing that. He's very tiny, um, but in the future, who knows? He's got a while, but he'll get big eventually. Um, he is so cute. Like I said, let me know if you guys have name suggestions. There we go. That's a good shot of him. Cute little fella. All right, guys. I think we have one more thing upstairs. And then we are done with the new animal updates. So uh, stay tuned for that last one, and then we will be done. All right, guys, this is not a new addition, but while I have this camera and I caught it out, kind of roaming here, um, I thought I would do an update on the OBT who is starting to get its colors. Um, I love these guys. They are beautiful. Known to be extremely aggressive. Mine actually is pretty timid. Um, most of the time I would much rather run and hide than try to fight you. Um, it's actually never even thrown a threat posture to me. Um, now that it's getting some size, who knows, it might change that a little. Um, but you guys got a quick view of it. Kind of tucked down in its hole now. But... Uh, you got a quick view while it was out of how pretty it's getting now that it's getting some size and color. These guys grow extremely fast um, and they are one of the most beautiful tarantulas that there is in my opinion. Um, obviously there's a few 
that are better looking. They have like that Goody Sapphire and um, even like uh, basically any of your pokey species. Um, like P. regalis is a beautiful one. But these guys make awesome webs throughout their enclosure. Uh, you never really know what it's going to be doing. Sometimes they burrow. It's down in there now. Sometimes they burrow. Sometimes they climb. Sometimes they web. They're pretty crazy. Um, definitely probably my favorite tarantula that I have. So, like I said, not a new fella, but while he was out, I thought I would do a quick update on him, because usually he's not out. Um, so that was the OBT, one more animal to go. All right, guys, last update I have here. Uh, these are my new red-bellied piranhas. As you can see, they don't really have red bellies right now because they are new to this tank. Um, very temporary tank. I'm getting a 55 this weekend for them. Um... So, it's a temporary tank. Right now they're in a 30. Holy cow! They sprayed water clear over here. Uh, they are in a 30 gallon. I'm not going to keep the light on them very long because it does stress them out. Um, like I said, using my red bellies. Got this guy hiding back here. Um, they are pretty stressed out right now, so I'm not going to bother them. But I thought I would show you guys real fast um, the new red bellied piranhas. There you go, you can kind of see some teeth in there. Um, once these guys start eating good, I will do some more updates on them. Um, they haven't really been eating very much for me, so I did throw some goldfish in there. Um, I know they're not great for them, but I figure it might trigger a feeding response. Um, and it does look like a few of them are missing. So, that is the last update, guys. And that is it. Um, showed you guys the piranhas, the geckos. I think I covered everything, the new snakes. Um, I think I covered everything, hopefully I covered everything. Um, I think that that is it. Um, like I said, I am gonna start doing a video a week. Uh, gotta keep it down up here, my fiance's asleep. Um, there you go, got the pallet wall up. That was about a week long project. Um, got it up, the pallet shelf. That I made um, got the Christmas stuff up even though it's only early November um, I love Christmas got Christmas tree there Christmas tree back there and I actually got two more I'm putting up um, but that's it for the video guys um, update on all the new animals and the OBT who happen to be out um, like I said you will start seeing me weekly I am getting a new phone, so the videos will be like this from now on. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.